Feral German Urban Turtles, Feral German Urban Turtles, Feral German Urban Turtles, don't set exotic pets free, you jerks! Right. That happened. So I was looking through my archive of recordings and found this. In late summer of 2018 I was at Piano Lake, which is a water body at Potsdamer Platz in Berlin, right in the middle of Berlin and it's supposedly named after the architect responsible for it, although it's also slightly piano shaped I guess. Yeah, and what I found was a pond slider. And I think, uh, although I'm not a herpetologist, I think it's obviously a red-eared slider, which you will be able to confirm in a moment even better. There we go. Have a look. There. Red ear spots. Well, back then I was in a hurry, so I couldn't investigate any further, but uh, about a year later I revisited the place with my parents, so you can thank my father for this uh, rather unflattering uh, image of me standing next to the pond. Yeah, I would consider this water body more of a big pond uh, than a lake, but it's quite interesting actually. It's used for rainwater management and supposed to affect the microclimate in a positive way. And it's also somewhat extensive. It begins in the south right there and goes all the way up north until here as a narrow canal, following actually, actually following along the sides of a casino. Huh? Enhance. I thought that was just a stone, but uh, now I'm not so sure. It looks an awful lot like a turtle shell. What do you think? Aside from the occasional turtle, there are also some ornamental fish, probably as part of a managed population. And I also spotted some European perches and uh, some nice water snails. When investigating the matter of turtles at Piano Lake, I stumbled upon multiple local newspaper articles reporting occasional turtle occurrences there, and even a library right next to the lake had it on its Facebook page, you know, as a nice image of turtle sunbathing and the question, where do you spend your break from work? Yeah, so there's that. Now I know the chances of reaching someone who would potentially set turtles free um, is relatively slim with this video, uh, but uh, let me address three points why you should not, 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 not do this in this video. Number one, animal cruelty. An exotic animal, especially if captive bred, is unlikely to be able to thrive in the wild elsewhere. And uh, in fact, with these turtles, I uh, read in some articles that um, it was proposed that they would not survive the winter because there are no sites where they can hibernate. And um, this seems to be the case, in fact, because um, the various newspaper articles um, report different subspecies compositions, so as if um, there would be reintroductions in uh, subsequent years. So, um, yeah, you probably just doom your little pet to a, a either quick death by car or maybe a slow death by starvation or death in winter hibernation. So, don't do this. Number two. Messing up the ecosystem. Let's say they do survive and thrive. Um, yeah. That often does not work out very well. Um, ask Australia and New Zealand, for example. At the very least, they could endanger the local species. For example, here in Germany, you actually have a native turtle species. And um, this could happen either by competition or by introduction of pathogens, new diseases, you know. In fact, the pond slider can be found on the official list of invasive alien species of union concern, so they are not wanted in the EU. Number three. Irresponsibility. If you want to get an animal, make sure that you can really provide for it long term. And if for some reason whatsoever you cannot anymore, 
don't just dispose of it. Well, okay, you might have to endure the disproving look of the people at the animal shelter, but uh, be responsible for crying out loud. That goes for anything, really. Animal, plant, microbial colony, lifeless object, whatever. Just make sure you make the best use of it. All resources are limited. Make the best of it. Now, if you will excuse me, tonight I will dine on turtle soup. <laughs>